Bomberate Automotive Group Sky Fox over Monroe County, Illinois today, where a violent crash near Valmire kills three people and a woman who nearly escaped the collision is talking about what she saw. And Fox 2's Rocky Madden is live in Collinsville to tell us more about what she witnessed today. Rocky. Vic, we are at Illinois State Police Headquarters because they have taken over this investigation from the Monroe County Sheriff's Department. Now, the fear and worry caused by this crash is touching many people who live nearby. People are very distressed and worried about everyone involved. From Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox, you could see the crash site. The car was destroyed beyond recognition. Three people inside the car were all killed. It was really bad. A woman who wants to remain anonymous said she was driving behind the truck when it happened. All of a sudden, the car um, just appeared out of nowhere, out of control, tried to make the turn and went airborne. She said the driver of the commercial truck was not physically hurt, but emotionally upset. There's no doubt in her mind the car was speeding. It had to have been going over 100 miles an hour. He couldn't make the turn. It happened on Bluff Road at Trout Hollow just before 2.30 Tuesday afternoon. Bluff Road was closed for hours. The location is not far from Valmire. Yeah, it just hits close to home. That I don't know who it was. I may know them. I may not. As news spread, people in Valmire called loved ones to make sure they were not involved. My son texted me, Mom, are you okay? Because he knows I take that country road a lot. A lot of people do. So it's just been very, very sad, and our prayers are going out to everyone. The Illinois State Police Accident Reconstruction Team was investigating and trying to determine what went wrong. It's very scary. If that box truck wasn't there, it would have hit me and the other witness in front of me. Absolutely. At this point, the names of the dead have not yet been released. Coming up at 10, that stretch of road, the local residents talk about it. Is it safe? Reporting live here in Collinsville, I'm Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.